One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother prepared goodies for her sick grandma and told to her, Take this basket of goodies to your grandma's cottage, but don't talk to strangers on the way, promising not to. Little Red Riding Hood skipped off. She walked to the forest to went to her grandmother's house, and on her way, the big bad wolf stopped on her. And suddenly, she met the big bad wolf, who asked, Where are you going, little girl? To my grandma, Mr. Wolf. She answered. Little Red Riding Hood continued her journey to her grandmother's cottage. She then met the hard-working woodcutter. Hi, Mr. Woodcutter, said Little Red Riding Hood. Hi, little girl. Where are you going? asked the woodcutter. I'm going to my grandmother's house to bring her goodies because she's sick, she replied. Okay, but be careful on your way. There is a bad wolf roaming around, whined the woodcutter. And then Little Red Riding Hood walked again. The big bad wolf then ran to her grandmother's cottage much before Little Red Riding Hood and knocked on the door. When the door sprang open, he devoured grandmother. The wicked wolf then wore grandma's clothes and lay on her bed, waiting for Little Red Riding Hood. When Little Red Riding Hood reached the cottage, she entered and went to Grandma's bedside. My, what big eyes you have, Grandma, she said in surprise. All the better to see you with, my dear, replied the wolf. My, what big ears you have, Grandma, said the little Red Riding Hood. All the better to hear you with, my dear, said the wolf. What big teeth you have, Grandma, said little Red Riding Hood. All the better to eat you with. Growled the wolf, pouncing on her. <coughs> Little Red Riding Hood came right before the wolf swallowed her. The woodcutter heard the scream and came running to the cottage. The woodcutter beat the big bad wolf, cut his stomach, and feed Little Red Riding Hood. He then rescued Grandma from the cupboard. The big bad wolf ran away, never to be seen again. Grandma hugged Little Red Riding Hood with joy. Little Red Riding Hood had learned her lesson and never spoke to strangers ever again.